Smize, you're on The Tyra Show. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest moments from The Tyra Banks Show. For this list, we're looking at the wildest, most out there moments from the Supermodel Stock Show, which aired between 2005 and 2010. Number 10. Tyra teaches her audience how to burp. Though Tyra is a refined beauty on the runway, she isn't always that way off the catwalk. Uh, because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to. My mother told me. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? In one notable episode of The Tyra Banks Show, the titular host had a soda fueled burp off with Kelly Rowland, former member of Destiny's Child. It was an odd, seemingly out of place moment in which the two showed off their belching talents. <coughs> well, one thing can be said about Tyra she's not shy when it comes to being herself, including some habits usually left behind closed doors. She even comments about the lingering smell that follows the impromptu contest. <coughs> Number 9. Tyra makes her audience strip. No doubt, Tyra Banks is used to being in her underwear publicly. She's done countless shows and shoots, including the famous Victoria's Secret fashion show. However, in one episode of The Tyra Banks Show, she walked on stage in her underwear and claimed she wasn't used to being quite so revealing. At least not in this context. I really feel crazy standing up here in my underwear. I'm used to doing this on a, you know, a Victoria's Secret runway or in a catalog, but not on the Tyra show. So I need a little help. Everybody, on the count of one, two, three, I want you to lose those under the canopy robes right now. Free that underwear, everybody! So she asked the audience to show some skin with her. The audience members excitedly followed suit as Tyra cheered them on. Well, that's one way to get our audience involved. Number 8. Tyra Interviews Five Women The Tyra Banks show was so riddled with bizarre, unserious moments that when Banks took on a more serious topic, it could seem awkward and forced. To kick off an interview with her guests in this episode, Tyra declared dramatically that the five women on stage had ten vaginas. I know there are five women on my stage, but between them, they have ten vaginas. <laughs> five women, ten vaginas. <laughs> what are you clapping for? This was followed by some audible audience unease, as well as one person clapping a couple of times. She asked the clapping gentleman to stand and questioned his applause, making for an even more awkward introduction. And she says, you have two vaginas. My husband lit up and he said, I can't have a choice? <laughs> He was excited. He was excited. He's like, I get a red and a green Skittle. The ensuing line of questioning to the actual women was also very much awkward. So I actually went home and did a self-examination. Yes. And uh, that's when I found the other opening. So technically, it's a left vagina and a right vagina. A left <laughs> vagina and a right vagina. And which yes. vagina is your dominant? The right. Number 7. Tyra tells a boy what sex is like. Tyra had a young guest ask her what sex feels like, as he was too embarrassed to ask his mother. I want you to have real answers to your questions. So then I what know. What are your questions? My question is like how sex feels, how it feels when you stick it in, all that. But. <laughs> she proceeded to describe it as feeling incredibly painful and resulting in blindness, but in much, much more colorful language. Your dad lives in California, and if you're not comfortable talking to your dad, I know. Talk to me. Talk to somebody. It There's feels gotta awful. Be. It feels like fire and damnation. <laughs> it feels like nails hitting your skin with a hammer. Oh, and then after that, you just go blind. <laughs> <laughs> after a presumably uneasy commercial break, she told the boy that she was joking and that's not what sex feels like. Before the break, Roland was very curious and very honest and wanted to know what sex felt like. When you do something, when a boy does something to a girl, and I, I answered you very funnily, of course, that's not the truth. Okay. Um, you know that's not the truth. Yeah. We were joking. It's definitely an odd exchange, and we just hope that the poor kid wasn't terrified in the moments leading up to discovering the truth for himself. Number 6. Tyra Feels Up Catherine McPhee Throughout her talk show, Tyra was inappropriate in more than one interview. 
While talking to American Idol alum Catherine McPhee, the topic of the latter's breasts came up. They're saying that my boobs are fake, and I know oh, that you've gone through this before. I and have. I really, I have to admit, it really bothers me because it's something that's yours, and yes. people are saying it's not yours. It's, it's very frustrating. McPhee stated that many people think her breasts are fake. This prompted Tyra to swoop in and cop a feel in order to assess whether McPhee was telling the truth. You have real boobs when you walked out. I saw them jiggle. They jiggle. <laughs> can I touch them? Yeah. I can touch them? Yeah. Are they real? They are real. She did ask first, thankfully, and McPhee granted her permission, although she was very much put on the spot. It made for another classically inappropriate moment on The Tyra Show. We're back with American Idol favorite Catherine McPhee, and I squeezed her boobs, everybody. They are real. <laughs> They're jiggly and soft and like... And I not that perky. Oh, are they not when you take your bra off? Do they No, fall? they're not like... No, I, I wish they were perky. Number 5. Tyra Creeps on Robert Pattinson and Taylor Lautner the interview with the Twilight Boys began in a shroud of awkwardness as Tyra demonstrated her terrible English accent, followed by asking Pattinson to bite her. Robert, I hear that like your fans are so obsessed with you right now, they are asking you to bite them? <laughs> multiple, multiple times, yeah, multiple Bite times. them. Mm -hmm. So they give you their necks and say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that an English accent? Yes, that, that was, that was Robert. actually. All this happened before a question was even asked, as the audience screamed like 1960s Beatles fans. Tyra then proceeded to drape Team Robert and Team Taylor G-strings on their shoulders, claiming that fans were wearing said lingerie. Team Robert, which is yours. Wow. <laughs> this has a little stain on it. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's disgusting. <laughs> and Team Taylor. <laughs> Girls are actually wearing those. The interview was really not an interview and more of a fangirl fawning nightmare. Honestly, we can't help but feel sorry for the two young actors, struggling to maintain their dignity throughout the spectacle. Are you, are you absolutely sure I'm about this? really time? serious. <laughs> yeah? Yes. All right. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god! I left a mark. Did he leave a mark? Number four. Tyra explains the birds and the bees to Bow Wow. If you didn't get enough of a creep fest in those last two entries, here's more! When Tyra had Bow Wow on her show, things got… weird. In one notable episode, Tyra had Bow Wow sit on her lap as she explained the birds and the bees to him. Sweetie, mm -hmm. it's time for us to have a talk. Okay. When a man loves a woman… Right. For some reason, she did so to a background beat and used a cringeworthy flower metaphor involving a stem and some petals. It's all very uncomfortable, as the audience seems as confused as we are as to why it's all happening. If you ever fall in love with a woman and you want to rub your stem on her petal, mm -hmm. you have to put on gardening gloves. Right. <laughs> Every single time. Especially after Tyra comments on Bow Wow's muscular, sexified body. Number three, Tyra pretends to have rabies. I'm all right. Today you guys are gonna learn about acting! We're gonna learn about acting! This bizarre moment on The Tyra Show came in the form of one of her strange, randomly placed acting moments. During her intro, she told the audience that she'd been bitten by a rabid dog during her morning jog and had gone for a rabies shot. Apparently, it didn't work because she then began to foam at the mouth on stage and bark at the audience and cameras. <laughs> it's all just surreal. The audience laughed uncomfortably as she flailed around on her hands and knees. If any of Tyra's moments can be said to be completely out of place, it's perhaps this one. Bark on, Tyra. Bark on. Do you know what acting a fool means? Do you understand what acting a damn fool means? <laughs> Number two, Tyra falls out of her chair. All of these daytime talk shows have those episodes when an animal expert brings out an assortment of critters. In a previous episode, Tyra revealed her crippling fear of dolphins. Facing my fear was far more difficult than I ever thought. And we're gonna come all the way down to his tail. <sighs> However, a porcupine is what really pushes her over the edge, literally. When the animal expert brings out a porcupine, 
Tyra immediately starts shouting, oh my god, and moves so far up the couch that it flips over, sending her tumbling to the floor behind it. This one you might not want to pet because oh they're spiky. God. Oh my god. Now. Oh my god. The porcupine, meanwhile, just sits on the table, non-threateningly eating its greens, ignoring everything around it. It all just seems a little melodramatic. And actually, did you yeah, ever... Wait, first of all, how about he could have cared less about that whole situation. He's just, like, happy eating. Well, she's entertaining, I'll give her that. But our number one pick actually sees Tyra trying to emulate another famous talk show host, I guess. So let's look through the honorable mentions, and then we'll see what the craziest moment from the Tyra Banks show was. It's just not, it's just not too big. It's, it's not, not too big. big. Stand on up, let's see it. It's not too big. Turn up, turn around. Hey, hey, you gotta Turn go. around. Let's see, turn this way. <laughs> Very nice. So I have to ask you a personal question, but you're on my Tyra couch and there are no personal questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, were you practicing safe sex? Yeah. Well, Mr. Elvis, you look hot to me. I like a little tummy and a little, Thank you, baby. Little, little extra tire around the waist. Woo, Mr. Elvis! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the great Vaseline giveaway. After Oprah's infamous car giveaway, Annie build up to audience gifts was very exciting. Open your boxes, one, two, three. Other shows attempted to recreate the magic, and Tyra was no exception. However, the build up ended up being incredibly anticlimactic. When Tyra told her audience that she was about to share her top secret beauty product, hopes were no doubt high. I'm about to reveal my biggest beauty secret ever! Yes! 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 Everybody, it's my eye and anything cream. We can only assume the audience was expecting some outrageously expensive imported face cream or something in that category. After much ado, she revealed that it was instead, drumroll please, Vaseline. Just plain old Vaseline. Three! Open up, open up, open up, The audience acts excited, but come on, we know they're disappointed. Well, at least the Vaseline jars seem to be bedazzled. We guess that's something. It's the Wonder Jelly. Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. It's the Wonder Jelly. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.